Notice I can't just describe my thought process. I can only explain it through an overused analogy. Okay, so I am thinking about a tree, a specific tree, and I want to tell you about it, but I cannot take my thoughts and put them directly into your head. Instead, I have to convey my thoughts through language. I can describe the tree. I can explain the shape and the color of the leaves. I could describe the nature of the branches. I can explain whether or not the tree is healthy. But no matter how well I describe the tree, language is not perfect. I will always run the risk of being misinterpreted. When I describe the shape of the tree, you might have spaced the branches differently than I did. When I describe the leaves, you might have envisioned them thicker or thinner than I intended. And all of this is confounded because many of our ideas about trees are based on personal experience. Maybe you don't have a point of reference to the kind of tree I'm thinking about. Or maybe you feel differently about trees than I do. How much of those feelings are based on personal experience? And how much personal experience is important context? Even if I am incredibly precise, something will always be lost in translation. And I could never make sure that the tree in your head is the same as the one in mine. In this way, communication is a game of close enough. <laughs> but now there is an example of a message where there was no miscommunication, where the thoughts in one person's head were perfectly interpreted. And now the tree that was in my head is now perfectly preserved in the head of someone else. Unfortunately, through this tragic and unintentional form of communication, the message was so all-encompassing that it transferred not just a tree, but everything. The reader was no longer able to interpret the message because they had been rewritten into someone else. They became a copy of the writer. Communication is a game of close enough, and art is a form of communication between an artist and an audience, and we are artists, so what does this have to do with us as playwrights and performers? When a work you created isn't interpreted in the way you wish it was, when audiences just don't get it, just don't take it too hard. When people take away unexpected things from your books or your plays or your performances, rejoice. Revel in misinterpretations. They can teach us things about our art. So, let the work speak for itself instead of trying to speak through the work. Obviously, continue to tell meaningful stories. Tell stories that are meaningful to you, but... Don't be devastated if your message doesn't get across. In a way, you are showing them kindness if they don't receive your message. Because if they did, if they received the message perfectly, they would suffer the same pain as... as, 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 as.